So I did some videos before Christmas about being an ADHD business owner. And I just say the, the response was huge, was like, it's probably one of the biggest understatements I've ever made. Um, so thank you to everyone who kind of reached out and, and spoke about things. Um, one of the, one of the comments on the YouTube video really worried me a little bit was, um, a lady who said that she was so distressed with being ADHD herself that she wasn't even considering conceiving children because she was worried that the children would come out ADHD as well. And I just wanted to kind of draw a line under that is that people, ADHD isn't, it doesn't have to be a challenge that is life destroying. It doesn't have to be. There are ways and means of coping with it, of dealing with the challenges provided by it, of turning it into a superpower. And it really is a superpower. I appreciate that there's a lot of people out there that have a different view of that. And maybe I've just been fortunate that, um, my own ADHD isn't extreme and my son's isn't that extreme. So maybe I have a skewed perspective on things. Um, but. Um, I think to, to not having, to, to consider not having children on, on the chance that those children may become ADHD or may come out ADHD and, and have their own challenges to deal with. Every, every person on the planet has that challenge. I firmly believe that we all have our own challenges, our mental disorders, challenges, call them what you want. I don't care. I don't care what the label is. And we're still only finding out what causes all these things. We're still no closer to understanding a lot of them than we were 20 years ago. But yet we've caught with them and we've, we've labeled them these horrible things for so long. Um, but actually once you get under the skin of things, you can start to deal with them. So I would, I would challenge anyone who's got that sort of framing in their head is to think, do you know what, for hundreds of years, we've dealt with these things. We've just never known what they were. Um, we've never been able to call them something. We've assumed there were one thing or another. Yeah. For me, just think about what might be, you know, one day we'll, we'll look back on all these things and we've probably found a way to, to cope with them all. Certainly the extreme versions of them. I'd say fix them, but like, there's nothing to fix really for a lot of things. Um, I'll look at my son and yeah, he's, he's just super intelligent with it all. Like. I'm baffled by how good he is at some of the things that he does. And like, it really is a, it's a fucking superpower. He's brilliant. I love him to bits. Uh, and I think it sets, you know, the, if you're a business owner, you're, what is it? 600 times more likely to be a business owner if you're ADHD, because we just love that challenge. Uh, ask not how intelligent am I, but ask, how am I intelligent? Sir Ken Robinson, a fantastic quote. Uh, it makes me sad to think that people are considering not having children because of it. Reach out, let me know your thoughts. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Uh, I don't really want to get bogged down too much in being an ADHD business mentor. I never really set out for that, but obviously it's triggered for a lot of people. And I want to, you know, if people want to have a voice on that, I'd like to help them.